Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your6 Studios. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to stream to Twitch on your Xbox One and broadcast 1080p gameplay all to Twitch. Coming up next on this Xbox tutorial. Now, streaming to Twitch on your Xbox One is a little bit different than going to broadcast on the sidebar and setting up a stream this way. What you'll need to do is go to the Xbox home screen and then scroll on over to store and then go down to search and then type in Twitch and get the Twitch app. And through the Twitch app, we will be able to stream 1080 gameplay to Twitch. Once we have the search results, go to the Twitch application right here. And for some reason, there's only one reviewer for this application. So let's go ahead and click on it and go ahead and install it on your device. And I'm gonna go ahead and launch it right now. So this is the application. If you scroll all the way to the right to broadcast, you'll see there's a bunch of different options on here. And you will have to sign into your Twitch account. You'll have to type in the six codes and go to twitch.tv slash activate and type those codes in when you're signed in on a web browser. So once you do that, you'll have a ton of different options on here to adjust your camera position, the broadcast bar, if you want it top, bottom, left, or right, a bunch of different settings on there. And this will provide you information how many people are watching. And then this is very cool. The microphone on here, you can adjust the microphone volume by going up and down. And you can have the party chat different than your microphone volume. So if people in your party chat are speaking a little bit too loudly, you can go to this option right here. I do not have party chat up right now, but you can turn it down so your microphone is louder than your party chat. And the same thing with your gameplay. If your gameplay is too soft, you can turn up or down your gameplay from here. So that's great to have these three different options on here, the microphone, party chat, and game options, and having the ability to adjust those differently throughout and right here is the bit rate and this is pretty much going to be the quality of your stream i suggest just going to automatic and then letting your internet be tested so it picks the bit rate automatically for you based off of how good your internet speed is and mine is maxed out right now at 6500 the best thing about this twitch application on the playstation 4 i'm limited to streaming only to 720p but on this Twitch application on the Xbox One, I can stream all the way up to 1080p. And this is great. It makes the stream look much higher quality overall. So I have my bit rate maxed out, my stream resolution set to 1080p. Then you can set your language to English. Right here will be your title for your stream. You can delete everything in here. Right now I was playing Call of Duty Blackout. I have it in dialed in 100% blackout. And you can type it in right here, Call of Duty. Hit the Options button, boom. And then your game will appear in that section. Now, you do not have to go to your game and start it before you start streaming. You can go to start streaming before you launch a game. However, I do suggest that you start up a game. I'm going to start up Halo 5 Guardians. And then I'm going to scroll back to the Twitch application. And then I'm going to start my stream. Your game will automatically appear in here. So you do not have to worry about that setting. So let's go ahead and go to start streaming right now. So on the bottom right hand corner, you can see my microphone, my viewers, and if my mic's muted or my camera's on. Now when I go to my game, the bar will still be on the bottom right hand side. Now one thing I did want to show you is anytime you go to like this home screen on Twitch, it's going to display something a little bit different. It's going to look like this on your Twitch page. You're going to get a bunch of like cats, a time clock, and people sitting on a couch anytime you go to this home screen. And that will go away when you go back to the game. I'm not sure why that is. There's probably some copyright protection issue. So anytime you want to readjust any settings, hit the Xbox button on the controller and scroll back to that Twitch app. And all your settings will be still listed here. And you can change it even when you're streaming here. And then to stop streaming from there on out, hit the stop streaming button right here so i really like this twitch application to stream from on my xbox it provides me a lot of different options that i just didn't have on my playstation 4 and the quality great at 1080p 
If this video on how to stream your Xbox One on Twitch helped you out, make sure to leave this video a like and subscribe to my channel down below and check out more Xbox One help videos coming up next on Your Six Studios.